Hey guys, I just want to start off by saying I truly apologize for the audio on this video. It came out a little fuzzy. I think just the batteries were really low on my microphone. I switched that out so it's not going to be like that later on in other videos, but please bear with me throughout this video. It's really good information and it will help you guys out a lot, but the audio sometimes just kind of sounds a little bad, so bear with me, but I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today's video is gonna be really cool. If you guys don't know, before we get into it, I'm Gunther the Great. I make videos on how to basically maintain your dreadlocks or help you out along your dread journey, along with watching my dread journey. As you guys seen on any of my updates or if you're new, just to update you guys, I'm freeforming my hair. So it's literally locking up and I think it's really cool. It's a really cool experience that I am experiencing, I guess you could say. But besides all that, you guys can just stay updated with my updates and everything like that. I want to introduce who I'm going to be combining dreadlocks on. Activeverse, you guys can go check out his channel. What's up, brother man? Oh, guys, I'm here. Activeverse, universe. <laughs> we got Diddy, Activeverse. What up, guys? So go subscribe to his channel. But um, he drops a whole bunch of awesome content on his hair as well. So you can follow his dread journey. And we actually did a collaboration on his channel, but we're going to be combining some of his dreadlocks because some of them are thin. If you guys remember the transformation video, I don't think anybody forgot at this point. <laughs> <laughs> One milli. <laughs> but everybody but um, what happened is some of his dreadlocks are a little thinner coming out of doing all that separation. So there is two dreadlocks I'm going to show you guys how to combine. And this is what you guys want to do if your dreadlocks are getting thin. Just find a partner and combine them. So we're going to keep this rod and cut. It's going to be really quick. And don't want to keep you guys for too long, but I'm telling you, it's really easy to do. I know a lot of people ask for this. So I'm going to go ahead and link this crochet needle down below. It is a 0.5 millimeter. A lot of people ask what size to use. I wouldn't use anything over a 0.5. And I'm telling you, a crochet needle is all you need for your dreadlocks. And this is perfect for combining dreadlocks or just taking in frizz. But I just want to remind you guys again, please bear with me with the audio. And hopefully you guys really enjoy. So you see these two dreadlocks right here. I'm going to show you guys the key point to fix in this right here. So we're not only going to be crochet hooking, but I'm going to interlock. And since we're combining these, interlocking isn't an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to push this through the roots of this one. So I'm taking these two skinny dreadlocks and I'm going to take the tip of the first one, the skinnier one, and I'm going to push it through the roots of this larger one. So what I'm doing is, is I'm splitting the roots of this larger one. And then I'm going to take the tip, like I said, you see my thumb through there. And then you want to literally just push this through. See, I'm coming through. And this just reinforces the lock. So you can see how those are combining. So now pulling that straight through. Now they're literally like combined. Like if you look on top, it's as if they're one dread but we want to take it a step further take it a step further i'm just going to take the crochet hook and then i'm going to literally just start crocheting it together i'm just going to twist them together a little bit not too much because you don't want to look coiled so i'm literally taking it like that and then i'm going to crochet these together and you want to just pull towards the root during this whole period and to do this successfully you really just want to make sure that it combines all the way so you want to go all the way through with the crochet needle see that and you pull through back to this end. And what that does is it combines the dreadlocks and you'll see how this all comes together. And we're gonna combine this all the way up. So it's literally just in and out, in and out, in and out, it's that easy. Now try to avoid going up this way because this is gonna cause you to pull hair out of the scalp and that's something you, you really don't wanna do. So you're literally just going either straight across or bringing everything straight down. But it's really as simple as that. And you could leave it at this step right here because that's already a Congo right there. So you can literally leave it at this step. See how that's a Congo. And you're set. Like the strength of that dread is all there. It's not, you can't see really hardly any, you know, crochet work or interlocking. But um, you can literally leave it at that and you'd be straight if you wanted a Congo. But we're going to keep going all the way up since he wants to combine it. So there you go. Like literally that's already one inch that I took up. It'd be smart for you guys to get a thimble for both of these fingers because like it really does hurt sometimes if you stab into your finger, but it rarely happens if you're like focusing on like pulling everything in. But when it does happen, you wish you had 
eighth thimble at that point. So you can already see how far I've made my way up. And you can already tell that this dread was a little skinnier than the, this one. And it's literally just a matter of going in and out with the crochet hook. And it's actually combining really well. It's looking very cylindrical at the same time. Hey guys, it's super easy to do. I'm totally promising you guys that crochet needle is all you need. And a lot of you ask the size, I'm gonna remind you guys, it's a 0.5 millimeter. This is the perfect size for pulling in loose hair. You can go smaller, but I wouldn't recommend you guys to go any higher than a 0.5. All right, literally, like you guys will see, this all closed up for me just going like this. So they pulling the hair through, find a new way, pulling the hair through. See that combining? So it needs to frizz up for you to actually pull hair in. And that's kind of the process you guys just seen right there. The biggest thing is just making it cylindrical. So you literally have to just compress it, keep moving around. And I'm telling you, it's really as simple as that. It does get a little harder when you get to the bulk of his dreads because of the fact that they're already mature and they're already kind of locked in their ways. But it's not as hard as it looks. So only about seven minutes in, you can already see that this whole thing is all combined. It's literally just working your way up, like I said. So it's literally just keep on taking more steps, more steps. So I'll keep going up. I'll do a rough one. I'll literally just keep going up really quickly. And I'll show you guys literally by me talking right here. You guys see that right there? But with me talking right here, I'll take it step for step. And I'll literally just pull this all together in the nick of time. It's just a matter of doing it. Obviously, I'm going to go back in and make it cylindrical. But I'm showing you guys how quick this process actually is. So you don't have to be afraid of your dreadlocks thinning out. So if you start out small, don't worry, because you can rock that skinny dreadlock look for a while. But it's always smart to thicken them up as you go along, if they're too skinny. So just literally crocheting. I'm gonna switch sides and go pull from this side now. So you wanna pull hair out of both dreadlocks. So switch when you feel it's necessary. There's a lot of benefits that come with combining dreads. Not only just making them thicker in appearance, but it's so much more strength. And one thing that's really cool about Diddy's hair, and a lot of people notice it, is that his dreadlocks are really thick and nice, like a really good size. He has about inch sections, so it's like a square inch, and they look really good. Um, but don't really look good, but they're gonna be strong over time. And he won't really end up having any breakage because of how thick they are. So that's a really good thing right there. So one thing that really helps too with making it cylindrical is going all the way through the crochet needle pulling it through, grabbing the hair that you just pulled out, spinning it, and then putting it in a different location. So it's all that process of making it cylindrical because now it's really together. No jokes. It's all a matter of going in and out, in and out. And the good thing about his hair, he's had him in for a year, but the density of his dreadlocks isn't too dense. So there's still room to like go in and kind of manipulate the dreads and maintain them the way that he would like them to be. But guys, I'm gonna finish up on this dreadlock. You guys can already see that it's already fully combined. I just need to work on the tip. Um, so there's this little part at the top, but this is all good to go. It's really strong now. The thing about crocheting dreads is it kind of stays straight for a while, but that loosens up over time. And I'm just gonna finish this up, make it look cylindrical, really nice. Here's a quick close up of everything right now. And I'm telling you, it's all done with the crochet hook. You don't need anything else. Once I'm done with this, I'll show you this when it's finished. And I'm telling you, this thing is locked in. This is probably the hardest dreadlock he has right now. And the cool thing is, is over time when he washes it, it'll loosen up and be more, cause like, look at this thing. It's standing up on its own. These kind of have more of a, you know, they're flimsy. And the good thing is, is it's nice and hard and it's well put together. I'm telling you, like over time, this will just blend in with the rest and hang the way it's supposed to. And that's basically it. It's really simple. It's really straightforward. I'm telling you, all you need is a crochet needle. Nothing else is needed for combining dreadlocks. All you need is a crochet needle. And use that trick I told you at the beginning of interlocking them into each other. But that's basically it. I wanted to keep this video really raw and very quick for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to go subscribe to Activeverse on YouTube. And go show them some love. Tell them where you came from. Tell them you came from great family. But on that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new because I'm dropping videos strictly on dreadlocks and basically self-care, health, 
and hair. But you guys, other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys do an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.